What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Tesla, Spy, Nvidia, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down something that's going to affect the market very soon and talk about earnings which are coming out very soon. And all of this could affect the market moving forward. But before I break into the devil's information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. Firstly, I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo with the link down below and deposit $100 into the account, you are guaranteed up to five free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks. The offer ends very soon. Anyways, looking at SPY, we saw this thing drop down towards our 50 EMA at this 496.8 area. We got a nice bounce after hitting that on the five minute time frame. And now SPY is trying to push. It's also helping Tesla rebound and the whole market rebound. It's looking pretty nice so far. But I do have to mention that we have this tight resistance at 498. And we'll be watching to see if we can break this right now. Now, SPY is pumping right now, trying to fight for 498. We'll see how well it does. I do want to warn you a little bit later on about the day, though, because uh, we have some Fed speakers speaking, not really hurting the market much so far. But later on at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do have Bowman giving a speech. Bowman is one of the most hawkish Fed speakers you can see right here. He tends to be more hawkish. So hopefully things don't shift too much. And even if they do, we could still get bought up towards the end of the day. So it shouldn't cause too much. Just want to give you guys a warning at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to watch out when he gives a speech. Now for SPY, we're currently testing 498, looking very, very strong, trying to break out here. We're going to see if this could break. If we break this, there's minor resistance at 499 and tough resistance at 500. There's going to be a good chance. We're going to, <coughs> excuse me, guys. There's a good chance we're going to reach $500 a share for SPY if we break 498. And this can happen by tomorrow. It's looking very strong right now. It's still trying to pump. It's still fighting. Buyers are still defending. So, so far, so good from SPY. Looking quite strong. But I also want to warn you guys about earnings. Uh, we also have PayPal and Disney, right? Whatever PayPal does could affect the whole market. So be a little bit careful with PayPal, especially for tech. We'll see if this causes the market to slow down just a bit or if it helps the market pump more. PayPal announces its earnings after the market closes today. So make sure you're prepared for that. Make sure you're ready. You guys are going to be watching to see how it goes. Now let's talk about SPY. How is SPY looking? Right now, SPY is pushing for 498, still fighting at that resistance. And we'll just have to see how it does from there. It's still fighting. It's still struggling to break that, but that does not mean it can't break it later. So it's showing some life. It's pushing, it's pushing, and we're going to have to see how it does. If we retrace, watch this 496.7 area. That's where our 50 EMA is. If we lose that, there's going to be a bigger drop coming, but that's one of the most important supports for now, just a little bit below 497. If we were to lose that, our next target is 496, followed by 494. Uh, so those are supports. We have resistance at 498. We'll see if we break this. If we break it, I think SPY could get very close to $500. Maybe, I don't know about today, but eventually it could do that within the next day or so. And the next target above 498 is going to be 499, then 500. I still believe that there is potential for it to try to break out, but it's still fighting some very tough resistance at this 498 area. So that's why it's kind of trading sideways. Let's see if it could break. Just be very patient and we'll see how SPY does. It, I do want to let you guys know that it could attempt to pump later. So watch it very carefully. Uh, for Tesla stock, Tesla's looking quite decent so far. Tesla is, you know, we got this big rejection after the news came out about Tesla potentially laying off employees. Now, when I said it's bad news, I don't uh, solely mean that it's bad just solely for Tesla. It's bad news in the sense that it, it caused Tesla to sell off. It was looked that way by the media and it was used as an excuse to cause a sell off. However, Tesla could be making a good move for its fundamentals. And ultimately, we're, getting, we're seeing this getting bought back up now with SPY. It was actually sideways consolidating for almost the entire day. And now Tesla's trying to rebound as it's holding the 50 EMA. So the next resistance to watch for in Tesla is essentially just 190. We're actually getting closer to it. I'm going to be watching to see how well we end up holding here. Uh, watch support at 188 and 187.5. If we lose that, 186 is coming, then 184 and 182.5 where the yellow trend line happens to be. So far, Tesla has a potential inverse head and shoulders like structure that could help this thing pump more in the future. But please be very careful with Tesla. I want to warn you about that because... The news is very biased and there are a lot of bad headlines that keep coming out for it that cause it to slow down. So always be careful with Tesla. From a technical standpoint, it looks bullish. We have this nice left shoulder here. We have a head and a right shoulder that's forming. 
Could try to push up higher, so we'll have to wait and see how it goes. If it does push higher, our target is going to be all the way up towards uh, basically uh, 192. For now, watch and see how it reacts to 190. And let's see if Tesla could close above 188. Overall, the trend is looking bullish for Tesla. For the QQQ, um, this is attempting to rebound. The level I called out was 432. If we broke 430, that's where the QQQ ended up going to. And if we break above this, uh, there's very minor resistance around 432.8. So that's where it kind of rejected at first. Uh, and above that, we have 434 and 435. For support, if we do reject here, make sure you watch this yellow trend line. That's going to be around this 430 area. If we lose that, there's 429 and 427 coming. Now, the <coughs> excuse me, guys. The QQQ is looking pretty good so far, attempting to pump. But we're still fighting resistance at 432. We'll see how well it does. It's still looking bullish overall the trend is still favoring the bulls so we're fighting resistance right now we'll have to see how it does but overall it's holding up very very nicely bouncing off the 50 ema as well gonna be looking for a nice pump towards the higher 432s if we keep going from there for nvidia nvidia is also looking quite good right now we're getting a nice rebound i mentioned to everyone nvidia should rebound which is helping the qqq pump uh, we're, we just broke above this resistance. We're testing some uh, minor resistance at 695. A break upon this will take us to 700. But please be careful because even though it's rising like this, we do have a rising wedge that's forming right here. And simultaneously, I just want to warn you that 700 is a very tough resistance. So just be careful with NVIDIA. It is uptrending for now. It could continue. Of course, it's not necessarily done or anything like that. But I just want to call out that looking at the current trend, just be a little careful with the way this thing is pumping. Uh, we have this potential wedge that's forming. Uh, we could even draw it out like this, or even like a channel, depending on where we end up landing. So it's kind of looking like this. It looks a little bit more like a wedge, depending on how much we break out. So it might continue to uptrend, but be careful as we make these highs. I'd be very careful with NVIDIA, at least for the time being. Uh, but we're on an uptrend. It could push higher, especially if we break above 695. And our next target is going to be all the way up around 700. So the trend is bullish for now. But be careful with the potential wedge that's forming that could turn this around later on. Still not bad from NVIDIA. For Apple stock, Apple is still holding up nicely. If you zoom out of Apple, we're still at 189, kind of shuffling around here. But don't forget that it still has this like inverse head and shoulders like structure right about here. Uh, not looking that bad. Uh, I could see this continuing to uptrend, getting closer to the 190 area. We have tight resistance at 190, and we have support at 188. If we lose 188, we're going to be sinking towards 186.5. And if we end up breaking above 190, watch 191 as minor resistance, and 192 as stronger resistance. Apple is just kind of stuck, shuffling in the 189s. It does have potential to bounce, so we'll have to see how it does. But so far, it's not looking too bad. Anyways, guys, uh, that's it for the video. I want to keep this one nice and short and simple. The market is showing some life, SPY, especially in the QQQ. Tesla is showing some life as well, but be careful with some others like NVIDIA. With that being said, have a great day. Remain calm, cool, and collected. I'll see you guys very soon for the final uh, video of the day. Once again, guys, don't forget that at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Bowman is going to be giving his speech. What he says could affect the market, so we'll just wait and see how it goes. Uh, I'll report what he says later because it's going to take a while until he starts speaking. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Be careful and watch your levels and do what you have to do. I'll see you guys very soon on the next one. Thank you and peace out.